morning. It's 6.04 p.m. We're going to call the Woodbury Select Board meeting to order for Monday, January 23rd. Um, are there any adjustments to the published select board agenda that need to be made at this point? Well, I think John's going to talk to us not only about the town meeting committee, but maybe about the town report status too. But not a big deal. He's on. John, are you are you comfortable with that? Without sure. a major change, <laughs> I we can sort of fall well on one. A copy of the warning. You what? It's in, it's in the, you no, one for you guys to see. Oh. Well. Uh, I should what, run down and do that, shouldn't I? Which which warning are we talking about? The warning that you guys have to sign. Well, well we can. We can be done we, we we can sign it electronically, and we can also, if it's published, and available, we could sign it tomorrow. If it's and gonna. It's, and that would be okay. Is it typical? I think that would be okay. But the one that's in Good here report. is there the 23rd. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll just say that we, I, I mean, we'll say that we did be. and yeah. then we'll do it. So you took out those two things in the warning. Uh, yes. Yes. And you put in the people's health and wellness. You took out Sylvia Jackson. Sylvia Jackson. Jackson. Mm -hmm. right. And uh, the library. No, the, uh, Friends of, friends of right, friends of yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yes, out of the voted and transferable, um, those were also removed from the budget because they are on the warning. On the warning. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Yeah. We have here the most recent copy of the warning, so I guess we can just. We'll I think we should be that. able to move forward. Yeah. I think we can move forward. Yeah. So we have, um, without other adjustments, we have bills and payroll orders that are in front of us that uh -oh. Diana has. Oh, so never mind. <laughs> I remember going through these numbers over and over, and I thought one was skip, but it's not. When you fool okay. around with the warning, gotcha. you have to keep on the numbers. Okay, so we have um, bills and payroll orders that are in front of us. Ms. Diana's looked through them. I have not, but they will be signed um, by the after, immediately after the meeting, after review. <clears throat> We have the minutes from we have the minutes from the January 9th meeting, which is supposed to be 2023, not 2022. Oh no. Um, but I have no other issues with the meetings from this. Okay. Unless somebody else does. No, we're the only ones that have to approve it. All right, so hearing none, I'm signing my copy. So we have approved the minutes from the January 9, 2023 meeting. Please. We're in 23 right now. I think this And we have space for any other public comments. Hearing none, we are going to move to the town clerk's report, please. Ms. Durkee? Um, my last two weeks have basically been working on town report. But I did receive a message from Ann Peltz and also Taylor Blaisdell from OSSU. Do any of you select board members have to sign the school budget? It's just the school yeah, members that so, sign yeah. it. No, okay. we just don't. Just check, making sure. Yep, mm -hmm. thank you. Yep, and there you go. I, Hello. I don't think. No, I don't think 
think I have anything else because, like I said, the last two weeks have basically been the town mm -hmm. Chris, may I steal yes, that please. paint paper clip, please? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Turkey, good? Good. All right. Um, may we have the town treasurer's report, please, Ms. Brandy? Yes. Over the last two weeks, um, for income cash receipts, we did $3,914.20. Um, uh, 3000 of that was for the conservation grant for Cranberry Meadow. Um, direct deposits from the state. $18,512.62 for class two and three roads. Also another um, direct deposit from the state was $173 of traffic fines. Payroll over the last two weeks, $9,131.17. Accounts payable, $22,643.65. Um, so reports, you have your balance sheet, you have your financial statement, and you have your due to do from. Um, one of the things finalizing to get into the town report was the CPA audit done by Sullivan and Powers. Um, recommendations they had pointed out um, that I have currently changed. Uh, we went to a cash basis for our accounting system. Um, the second thing, they didn't want uh, Tom Beers, who is my assistant, who does the bank recs, to also be a signer. So I have removed him as a signer. Robin, um, who's also one of my assistants, is a backup check signer. Um, other things, they wanted us to create a journal entry binder, um, separating that from the general ledger. Um, so I've created that. The other thing they had recommended that um, the, the office get a cash register. And, um, and, and balance that daily versus monthly um, when I do the deposits. Um, so over a month of collecting town clerk fees, as they're called, um, dog licenses or zoning permits, um, the cash register would do a daily intake and I would compare that to the monthly um, to balance. So that was their recommendation. Um, I briefly looked up cash registers on Amazon around 300 bucks. Um, so that's something in the future, um, possibly that, that um, me and the girls decide to get for the town office. Um, I want to say how awesome John Reed has been for the town report and making this all come together smoothly. -ish. Um, and, and he does it. Yeah. I wish there was a way to pay him back for all the stress we pile on him um, over the last month. Um, questions for me? No, I just want to say thank you for responding to all my questions that I had on the budget. I'm all set. I appreciate all the work. Thank you. Um, Mr. Larry, can we do the town, town road commissioner's report? Sure. <laughs> Uh, we had a lot of weather, as we all know, mm -hmm. um, so we've been putting in some hours and some, using some sand, some equipment. Um, everything's holding up. We've had a few minor breakdowns, but nothing we couldn't fix that day or the next. Um, I understand there are some complaints around town, and I. We're going to talk about that a little bit tonight. Uh, I don't feel like we need to unless we. Well, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. I okay. just got a couple of things to make clear that we talked about. 
Are we good on sand right now? Yes. And we're good on salt right now? Yep. And as far as equipment goes, other than long-term repairs? Yeah, no, everything's... Things, everything things are working? Running, yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Like I said, we've had a couple of small breakdowns, but we were able to fix them within the same day or the next. Great. Okay. So we had a couple, I had a couple of angry men come to my house. And they were upset that the town that the <clears throat> bus couldn't get up East Hill Road, and anyways, it was slip it was a slippery day. What day was that? Friday. Friday. So um, I called Alfie. First, I called Greg because I didn't have Alfie's phone number, but now I do because I do remember you saying that if people have complaints, I should give them your number. Absolutely. <laughs> so, anyways, he explained that in his previous job they were always after him to you know to minimize expenses and I don't think we've ever had that problem here I've never people don't complain about the cost of the roads they just complain about when they can't make it home we have a bigger sand pile than we've ever had from what I understand and we have three full-time drivers which we haven't had ever before and so we're not skimping on overtime, and we don't have to skimp on sand or time or anything. We get her done. Mm -hmm. So it's been, but I mean, I understand. We, you know, they do the set out the sand, and a half an hour later, when it's snowing, you can't see it, but it's still there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's what's that's what's part of what's frustrating yeah. is because you go out and it takes you three hours to sand the roads, and then. Mm -hmm. In 15 minutes, it's all covered Start up. All, all your work is, is disappeared. So are your routes basically three hours each? Roughly, yes. Yeah. 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 So um, who has what route? Um, well, I'm I'm going to West Woodbury. Yeah. So that takes me two hours mm -hmm. to go up there, and then I got the small routes mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. around the village. Yeah. Uh, Greg goes to County Road. Um, Valley Lake Road, mm -hmm. Buck Lake, and he is up around, he's uh, Foster Hill, mm -hmm. and Timmy is East Hill, mm -hmm. uh, Cabot Road, oh. that whole area. So he's got some good hills to deal with. Oh yeah, they're all, they're all hills. They're all hills. They've all yeah, but I mean Cabot hills. Road and East Hill Road are the ones right. that Right, well Cabot Road is most. a bit of a challenge, one, because of the, the granite trucks. <laughs> And two, there's a lot of traffic mm -hmm. on it, mm -hmm. um, so there is there is that. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's I think it's it's comes to timing, you know what I mean? That's that Friday we had plowed mm -hmm. and, and sanded mm -hmm. everything, mm -hmm. and we were done by we we're about ready to go home at 10:30, mm -hmm. and it was they were still calling for snow throughout mm -hmm. the day. Mm -hmm. So we decided, okay, well, we'll let it finish its job, finish its snowing, and then we would come out, do it, take care of it in the morning. Mm. That was our plan. Mm. Um, if I had my time back, I would have come back in in the afternoon and mm -hmm. at least sanded mm -hmm. because it was slippery, it was warm. Mm. You know, it's the weather has changed. The weather has dramatically changed. Mm. Now we're getting wet, heavy snow. We're getting snow at 29 degrees. Mm. That was unheard of five years ago. Mm. It just didn't happen, you know. So now we're getting that. So when it's warm like that, it's very slippery. Mm. So, um, like I said, if I had my time back that Friday afternoon, we would have gone home, took a break, and then come back in. If you had your what, your time back? My you... time back. If I could, if I could read. Oh, you could do, do, do it over. Okay. If okay. I could have my yeah. time back okay. to do right. to make a okay. different decision. Um, but again, I was thinking about the sand. Right. Okay. We go out and sand, we spend that three hours, and then it's still snowing. Mm -hmm. It snowed until mm -hmm. 7 o'clock that night. Mm -hmm. it, would have, it would have benefited a few people right mm -hmm. after we sanded. Mm -hmm. But not for long. But not for long. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to, have been trying to kind of plan my routes and my timing yes. to be the most feasible and right. economic. Right, benefit the most people. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, we get it. So I'm not. Sh I know. I know the person that was complaining, and I want to have a conversation with him. He left a very nasty message. Oh yeah, yeah. They said they left on my answering yeah. machine. Mm -hmm. 
And so I'm just letting myself depress from that because he's wrong. Mm -hmm. I, I don't care what his issue is. He's wrong mm -hmm. for talking to me that way, and I'm, mm -hmm. I want to settle that with him. Mm -hmm. It's okay to have a problem with Rose, but mm -hmm. I don't need to, I don't need that. Yeah, it was kind I, of threatening. Expect, I mean, I'm not expected to talk to people that way. Mm -hmm. I deserve better. Mm -hmm. sure, so I'm gonna have, you know, I'm gonna try mm -hmm. to hash that out with him uh, on a personal level. Yeah. And if he comes tonight, I'll do it here. It's fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, either way, for me. But um, I'm okay with taking criticism. I, I've taken a lot of it. But, but for something you, know, you did for for no reason. Right. Yeah. Right. And I also want to encourage people to call me. Call the mm -hmm. town garage. My cell phone's out. Everything. My numbers are mm -hmm. all out. People can mm -hmm. call me. Take some of the weight off of Robin. Mm -hmm. If it has to do with the roads, it's me. Mm -hmm. So right. I would love to have those people call me okay. instead of bother Robin. And then I can get the, you know, I can get the. Or me. The exact. Or me. Situation, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, and I, Robin does a great job. She gives me the, the correct information and I try to deal with it. But mm -hmm. if it's something like that, I can deal with it maybe faster mm -hmm. rather than going through all the channels. Yeah. So I'm going to encourage and I, I would ask you guys to encourage people also to call me. That's the only way I can fix it if, if, if I know it's broken. Mm -hmm. um, no reasonable. I have another question. What do you do with somebody who calls on Saturday night and and they say that sound like their cars all over the road, but they probably weren't? And I did give her your number because did you get that call? I did. Yeah. It was it was seven o'clock at night. Yeah. When I got it. And yeah. Most of the time, when you go out on something like that, they're already they've already solved their problem, mm -hmm. and now I've wasted all that time trying mm -hmm. to go. Yeah. Um, so I didn't respond to that okay. uh, with a truck. Okay. So I, d I didn't know whether it was appropriate for me to give out your number in a case like that. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Uh, and I'll I'll make the decision. I'll, I generally right. will call people back and just say, yeah. you know, it's too late. We're gonna yeah. get. Take she care made of it sound like you were cars all over the road, but from what I heard the next day, it wasn't so bad. Yeah. Well, well uh, that's yeah. Greg's route, and I asked Greg about that, and he said he didn't see any any cars yeah. there. That was the following morning. Yeah. So they yeah. must have, like I said, they solved their yeah. their own issue. Yeah. Your job yeah. is not to pull people off the road. That's right. I agree. That's I mean, we do job. it. We do it. We did it in Cala some uh, yeah. on occasion. And that's, and just that's fun. As a courtesy. Mm -hmm. That's fun. But I would also explain to them that. It's at your own risk. We can't. The town can't take responsibility for damages of us pulling it out. Right. That's a liability. Mm. It's a liability so in issue. Fact, I, runs, I had a form in the palace. I had a form that I would have them sign, just mm. releasing uh, the town of liability. Yes, yeah. I can pull you out, but you have to sign this form saying yeah. that I'm not responsible for further damages. Mm. I like that. And I love that. It worked. Yeah. It worked. Really I mean, it just. Yeah. Yeah. I know, there was a kid stop on my house today, and he had gone off the road up at the corner a little bit, and um, he didn't know what to do, and he didn't know who to call, and I couldn't think of anybody to call. Mm -hmm. I couldn't, uh, I mean, there's no wreckers. Or, or there Not wreckers? anymore. We used to. Yeah. Right. right. It's yeah. been quite a bit. Anyway, hopefully he got out eventually, but... Running. Was that on the corner of Wheeler and <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, they got out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I came. I got word of that, so I went and sanded around it. But oh. there was nobody around. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, I'm not going to onto a rig with nobody there. <laughs> so they must have gone must, walking for help. Yeah, or he something. went down. But um, oh, that's some, one thing you can do. So that's helpful. Yeah, you can go and sand around it. Right. So give them your cell phone number, not your home number? Either. Either one. All, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, so you have a I'm, home number too? I do have a home phone, yeah. yeah. But you yeah. always... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not always there, though. Oh, yeah. So okay. that's, why the, that's why the phone, <laughs> the cell phone is... You have cell phone service at your house? I do. Oh, good. That's what Wi-Fi. Yeah. 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 I mean, it, 
this is a challenging time. It, it really is. It's, it's We're in a very interesting transition with the way that our weather is working, right. especially mm -hmm. the season. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I remember We're one time when Gary Gary Yoon was driving, and somebody called in the middle of the night, and they were stuck. There was so much snow; it was like twelve inches of snow, and they were stuck on County Road. And somebody could die in a situation like that, you know, if they get stuck in the middle of the road and can't see who's coming and it's nighttime and I remember he went out and dealt with it, but he wasn't happy. <laughs> I think he quit right up. <laughs> that wasn't quite the situation here, though. No. Oh, God, no. No. So, this was no. This was just This is a little bit different. Me. This is just feel being there. Yeah. So that's when you have to make that choice. Yeah, yeah, and by talking to the person, I can get, mm -hmm. you know, I know the questions to ask, mm -hmm. and then yeah. I can evaluate the right. importance of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when they call me, I can kind of make that call then. That's reason. Sorry. Um, all right, so Miss hey. Diana asked your questions. <clears throat> Any other things that you want to ask of us at this point? Or you, um, what do you, what do you think? No, I don't think so. Um, I know there's a there's a grant coming up that we need to. Yeah, Michael and I have talked about it briefly, but I think Michael and you and I might want to get, we'll get together. And yeah, and figure that out. Okay. Is that is that fair enough? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I just want to make sure that. It's yeah, I don't want to keep that out of the cycle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just a better roads thing, and that helps us. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Yes. We appreciate it. Is there anything else for me, or any, any uh, unless anybody else has a? Have to get up questions? early. Do you get up? I'm up at three every morning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Don't always stay up, but I, I do get up. And look out. <laughs> I do get up and look out the window to see because because and that's the other thing. The the, the forecasts, uh, the yeah, weather forecasts are terrible. They've been awful. Well, it's not. Yeah. I mean, at the bottom of the hill, it could be not Versus snowing, but you come yeah. up to my neck of the woods, uh, right. and we've got three inches already. Right. So it all depends mm -hmm. on where you are. Yeah, I mean, I've gotten calls from West Woodbury. Mm. You know, there's nothing here. Yeah. And they're saying, mm. "Oh, the roads are terrible." It's like, it's, it's just, mm -hmm. you know, that 15 minute drive, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's so different. Yeah. So, um, there, that's, that's a whole nother challenge. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just a little off the subject, but West Woodbury, yep. if there have been a time when you could like fill up the truck, drive up there, do your thing, come back and fill up again to show exactly how many gallons you're using to go up there every time. Um, yep. That might be good to put together when we're deciding to negotiate what what to do next year. Find out well, how much it's. I mean, you you know how many hours it takes. Right. So we just don't know how much fuel and. Yeah, it'd be hard to here. split that up because the you know there's you a fair anything? amount of roads that I do here in the oh, village. Okay. But. Oh, yeah. Um, but on that note, there there is negotiating underway. Mm. Oh great. Already. Um, we are very close mm. to an agreement. Mm. Uh, in fact, they are willing to, possibly willing to take over immediately. Mm. Mm. I've got to call them, I've got to talk some more um, with Opie, but um, we're not quite there yet. So there's not, uh, you're not negotiating a tr uh, Trading time or no, equipment there'll be like no you used to? more trading. They're not interested in trading. Okay. So it um, would just be a cash thing. Yeah, yeah. But hmm. I, I, I think we'll be happy when we come to an agreement. Hmm. And I'll give you all that when the time comes, but it's not here yet. No, that's good. <laughs> no, that's good. Yeah. Actually, the trading time thing was always problematic because it was always just sort of a handshake agreement. Right. Yeah, but it worked right. for many years. Well, it doesn't it mean that it's so good. Before, before yeah. audits, outside audits, and yeah, it's nice very to, clear. It's, it's nice to have something that is solid. solid. Yeah, yeah. you need that as far as contracts. Yeah, so contracts are useful. When they start complaining. So, well, thank you for taking that on. Yeah.
sure. financial statement uh, for you. I printed out. Okay. Um, yeah, that way, yeah. kind of up to speed, so you know. I can watch the. And that's just of of the highway. Okay. Great. Okay. Other questions? Okay. Thank you. Very good. Appreciate right. it. Have a good night. You as well. Fine. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you bet. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, Mr. Reed, would you be willing to talk about town meeting committee? Sure. Thank you, sir. Uh, <clears throat> a couple things. One is, uh, it's nice that Stevens here, the library has been enthusiastic, uh, going, enthusiastically going after some of this and, you know, teeing up activities to have before town meeting and uh, so it's really great. It's just great to see <clears throat> kind of the, uh, the all hands uh, effort on this. Um, my point or purpose in coming tonight was um, just a te kind of a technicality, and that is just to get the name of the committee um, updated. Since we've done the studying part, um, it was designated the uh, town meeting study committee. And <clears throat> I talked to most of the, or I've talked to all, but most of the people on the committee are willing to continue implementing recommendations. Mm -hmm. So I'd just like to get the name of the committee changed to take the study out of it. And <clears throat> um, you know, I think it's important that it be a, a select board, blessed committee, so that we do it everything transparently, mm -hmm. that we, you know, publicly warn meetings, all of that. Um, so that's that's the main thing that I was hoping to get done tonight. And you have a suggestion? Sounds leisure to me. Makes sense to me, but he might have something more. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Will the Woodbury Town Meeting Study Committee, having completed its studying, we are in updating its name to Woodbury Town Meeting Committee as it works to carry out its recommendations to improve town meeting participation? All those in favor of changing the name of the Town Meeting Study Committee to the Town Meeting Committee Say aye. 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 Should have asked, should asked Robin because she's name. really the one in charge of the town meeting, but... Oh, I apologize. Yeah, she's <laughs> that's that's fine with me. <laughs> Robin says aye. What well, uh, makes him happy <laughs> makes me happy. <laughs> okay, so we'll be known from here to forward as the, town, the Woodbury Town Meeting Committee. Woodbury Town Meeting Committee, not Woodbury Town Meeting Committee. Study. Okay. I think the next thing we'll work on <coughs> is getting the user's guide put together. We've already started on that. But, oh, wow. Thank you. And perhaps have a, at least a draft version of it in time for some of the library activities and, mm -hmm. the, and before the. After that meeting the other night, I decided to go home and start making my own list of how wonderful it is to be on the solid board. <laughs> <laughs> It might have been a little a sarcastic. A so list. far, it's pretty long. People <laughs> 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 keep asking what's involved in being a town select board. So it's definitely the pay. It's oh, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, it's the pay. VLCT has a beautiful guide for every position that yeah. is um, in the town. So yeah. they. I know. I told them that the, the town select board book is like an inch thick, and they sell it now. So I never got one. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. Have the, hand, one. have the handbook. Wow, see that. And they pretty, probably don't emphasize useful. as much as complaints in there as realistically happens. <laughs> <laughs> it's useful yeah. for some things. Yeah. Yeah, there's, a, for some things, there's one like know, that for the clerk, there's one like that for the auditors, there's you know, one like that for the treasurer. Picking up that stuff for the auditors, I mean, it's like that thick. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of contradictory mm -hmm. and conflicting information that comes from the same organization. Mm -hmm. um, 
both Secretary of State and the League of Cities and Towns. Towns. So, yeah. and, and there are at least 200 towns in Middlesex and Bethel that, that we've looked at their user guides. A lot of it is just making it simple mm -hmm. and, um, you know, overused term, but accessible, you know, for people who want in 30 seconds to have a have a good sense of it, yeah. yeah. And, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a catch-22 because you got to make these positions accessible. Accessible. If you're going to have... If we want to actually fill all the positions. But they're not simple. Yeah. So, you know. But the initial guidance can be simple. Yeah, but that's kind of foolish because they're not... <laughs> You fool people into taking the jobs and then that's what you did. They're in. That's true. Just be totally fair, right? I told him he'd be a very important person. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, John. We do what appreciate else? all the work. <laughs> um, so you want to tell us about the town anything that, yeah, report? exactly. Anything you want to mention about the town report, other than your wonderful job compiling it and think, how much. Uh, we you know, love you. I mean, for doing it. Looking ahead to next year, but there are some things that we can do that make it easier. But, um, but it's done. And it's done yeah. on time. Can you know. can can you make some of those comments now for looking forward towards next year? How? But you know, a lot of it is just starting that sooner, and a lot of it yeah, was just timeline. health issues, and you know, mm -hmm. the town office yeah, being pretty thinly staffed. Mm -hmm. So. Um, so not, it's you know nothing that is done, and and, uh, and I appreciate all the proofreading and uh, copy editing. And I was waiting all weekend, you know, and didn't get it till uh, Monday morning. I got a note from Diana at about eleven last night saying, uh, "Is the report done so I can read it?" And I sent it to her as soon as it was it. Quarter of five this morning. <laughs> I noticed that was pretty oh, early. God, so, but there was also an idea of whether or not you wanted to include the whole audit in the report. Yeah, I don't. I don't have a. It's very small, long, and it's very. Feeling. I can't even read it myself. Is there part of the summary that we could put in there, or you don't? It's not. It's um, totally up to you. I, I looked through it As, and. Really, what we pulled out in the auditor's report, that one paragraph, is about the only... I was a little surprised they didn't do an executive summary. And so the only thing that they did, um, it's truncated. Is, is that, is that <laughs> There's on, a difference. Is, is that the on town us? report? Is that on us that? This is the town report uh, with it in there. This mm. is the town report with just his paragraph in there. Okay. So it's going to cost a lot of money. I mean, a lot more for printing and posting. No one is. Well, plus, nobody's going to read no it. No one's going to read it. I mean, it's going to be in the town office anyway. Right. So if we'll somebody have, available, right. we'll have hard and, copies. Um, and, and if yeah, we can make I, that clear that it's available. Yeah, and we could have copies at town meeting if somebody wanted to. Yeah. Right. I, yeah, I think that five or six copies of those sound a lot better than sending yeah. Yeah. <laughs> copies around to right. everybody in town. But yeah, sometimes you know, if you put something out on the table at town meeting, people just take things. But mm -hmm. well, then they there'll be somebody take there it, to they take a quick look and they'll put it back. This is for looking. Right. No, yeah. This is for taking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we can put a sign on. We can make a sign and Keep we can your have palms off, and then we know for sure yeah. they'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Exclusive. We spent $20,000 on this, and, um, and um, you know, it's a, it's a clean bill of health. Right. So, um, so we want people to know about it. And, yeah, and, that's a good point. You know, maybe we should go back and ask about it, Summary. The only thing that comes out that's short are all the things that um, they'd like changed. Change. Right. So right. if you print that without the context of the whole it's, report, it looks like, oh my yeah. goodness, what's going it's all, on? It's all, it's all bad news. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. right. So it, mm -hmm. once we get the hard copy of it, is that something we could have a copy of it in the library? Absolutely. They're sure. making 10 hard copies at the CPA is, and I can disperse it, and we can just put library stays here. Right. And I'll, um, I'll, I'll make maybe sure a couple that, copies. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll have it put on the website. And Thank you. Oh, there you go. The auditor's really? report for the town report mm -hmm. says it's on the website or available yeah, at the town office. Yeah, they want to call the office or, or we can upload it onto, onto the website and people can pull it off that way. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, you can do that? 
Yeah, I just want it to John or something. Oh, okay. That's what John, John, John just said, I can put it on the website. I know. You're not putting it on the website. Oh, man, I thought for our last time, we know who our IT guys are. Just a quick question. Does the audit... This is Stephen. Deliver, Stephen Murphy. Deliver essentially good news. Is there a favorable audit? Yes, I didn't yeah. know. I would say publish that on Front Porch Forum and Facebook. I, good news. It's nice to get some good news. I think everyone would appreciate that. Everyone in town well, to no, see that. For myself, it was, yeah, this is how I can approve, but nothing was wrong. We didn't find any. Great. Yay. And that's great. the part I'm that I wanted reassurance that. and I wanted to know what I can do better. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Spread, the, spread the good news, yeah. And if there's sure. a link, if there's a digital version, then put a link in a, in a, in a publication, in a, in like a publication. in a front porch forum yeah. ad. If folks do want to look at it, they could just mm -hmm. easily Website. go to the digital oh, yeah. version. Yeah, That's a great have. idea. They, um, um, the final audit was just sent today, mm -hmm. so as, as town auditor, I could do a post. That'd be lovely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good work for getting the good audit. She yeah. did a lot Thank of work you. too. They they made her oh, do yes. a lot of extra stuff. So during the what was I it did. last summer? Their recommendation was to to change to a cash basis, and we were a modified accrual. Um, but it's very, I like it much better. It's very transparent on the balance sheet. It's it's taking money, yeah. the delinquencies of penalty, interest, and revenue. We couldn't. It wasn't money we had mm -hmm. in the bank, and so. Mm -hmm. um, that part I like because it's not the select board looking at it going, oh, we have two hundred thousand dollars and we don't. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. still in delinquency, so. So yeah, I am happy to learn the new techniques mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. what an actual CPA is looking for. And the fact that you've been doing a wonderful job for quite mm -hmm. some time. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah. You know, there's Thank not you a lot for of still keeping me. The complexity of bookkeeping in Woodbury versus Burlington. It's kind of funny, isn't it? Mm. You got a lot of people in Burlington to mm. work on it. Don't work. Mm. Yeah. So, Steve, is this what you were here about? or? No, I, I saw on the agenda of uh, Woodbury and the town meeting committee. I was curious oh. about it, yeah. Yeah, and I have the, the night free, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. What better way to spend That's a Monday great. night? That's right. Where are you no, I have some wood that I still need to have split, so, <laughs> you know, yeah, free you you're, not, you're, you're not stuck on the road out here. <laughs> no. Side of the road. <laughs> That's right. So <laughs> Alfie is Alfie's not crew. dragging you out of anything, no. so. Uh, so any really volunteering good. for the select board coming up in March <laughs> for a position? For you wanting to be on the select board? No. <laughs> no. I'm just trying. I, it's no. okay. At least he's honest about it. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. You were going just to that town that. meeting tune up thing, or did that already happen? No, it didn't happen. No, For moderators, right. it's February 8th. I'll be there in oh, okay. person. That's cool. Yes. Okay. Yep. Well, they're doing it in person. That's Who's doing that? It's VLCT. VLCT. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You can go. I, um, I wonder if Paul Gillies is involved with that. He always has been in the past, but he's kind of, I haven't seen him in one of those for a long time. Yeah, huh. cool. I think you can do it through Zoom too, can't you? Yeah, yeah. 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 I, yeah I, so if you want to, John. I prefer to be yeah. there in person. No, yeah. I think it's great. I, yeah, I, I, I finally get to teach in person again, yeah. so my life is easier teaching remotely. Yeah. Oh, my, my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The library did have quite an ambitious list of list things of that, they're, yes. that they're meeting last week, I guess it was, this is Monday, so it must be last week, that they're planning to do to try to help people um, learn more and get involved with town meeting things, and town democracy meeting and, and all, and it came, in yeah. town, and, and it came involved. out, it was well distributed, so it's great. What was it? Well, some of it was, oh. all right. Good. <laughs> I'm sorry, what, I missed it. I don't know. Distributed, talking. some of it was already distributed. There was a front porch forum. Oh, posts. yes. Yep, the minutes that, from the meeting. Okay. Yes, this. Right. So. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I'm sure there'll be more. Mm -hmm. That's great.
But I do hope that if you have, if you get Susan Clark to come, that there's some effort to make sure that people come and listen to her. Yep. I don't know how to do that, but. We will, we will publicize it, yep. yeah. Who is Susan Clark? Susan Clark, she's the moderator of Middlesex, and she's an author. She's written some books on, co-authored uh, books on town meeting. She and wrote that little book that John brought she, around last year. Oh, yeah. You and did. she spoke to the, I went over to see her, and she came virtually to one of our meetings and did a presentation on town meeting. Oh. And, and town governance and participation. Yeah, and engagement. Yeah. Engagement mm -hmm. in town government, oh. yeah. Democracy, just, just yeah. Quite, quite thoughtful. Okay. Mr. Reed, anything else that you want to bring up? Oh, it's you. your time, so, okay. So uh, this is our time to approve uh, the budget for town report. I have reviewed it and do not have issues with our most recently updated budget. I, I move Stand that we on. approve the one that uh, is in the town report. <laughs> I think there are a couple last minute changes that maybe aren't on the one that she gave us last week. Yeah. Correct. It's all set now. But it, in the town report, if it's similar, if it's quite similar to the one that I just reviewed, I'm sorry I have mm -hmm. not seen this. I spent time on it, but um, I'd, uh, I'd second that motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So we are approving the budget for town report at six forty-seven. Oh, I thought you were talking about the number. I thought it was 644,000. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, I should, I'm not sure how many numbers I'm, I need to report. Um, and we're a little bit ahead of our schedule, but um, I don't see any reason that we can't move on and approve and sign the warning for town meeting. Mm -hmm. We've been over it and over it, and I think it's fine now as far as the number of positions. We've reviewed it quite a bit. A while to get that all straightened out. And all of the nonprofits did eventually come Give in us with some Robin's values. prompting. Yep. Yeah. Not having looked through this very last draft, my apologies. I've seen a number of drafts before this one, mm -hmm. so I'll make a motion to approve the town meeting warning for the 2022 year. Um, second. All those in favor? Aye. So we have approved the town meeting warning. However, so it'd be we, it is 2023, not 2022. Well, it's for the year of 2022. In right, so it's the morning okay. of 2023 for the year of 2022, right? In 2024. 24. In 2024. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually for the fiscal year 24. Ah. It's the calendar year that's the beginning. Well, so yeah. can you we're, please check me on this so I say it correctly? You're approving the, the warning for the fiscal year 2024. We're approving the warning for town oh, meeting. Warning for town, town meeting. meeting. Yeah. But it's for. But also the, the whole report is we don't have to re approve the report. We know we don't. The budget. So the fiscal year is 2024. Yes. The budget right. we approved was for 2024. Four. Yeah. Correct. So. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So you can keep yeah. hitting the backspace button and maybe <laughs> stop listening to anything else. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so before we get, I'm sorry, back to the town meeting um, <clears throat> subject, the child care. Has anybody jumped in to, to uh, try to make sure that that happens? 
Oh, child care? Or was it supposed to be so, called daycare instead of? So, oh, right, for so, during town, during town meeting. The, um, you know, the um, friends at the school have expressed interest in doing that. Mm -hmm. The library said it was okay to use mm -hmm. space here for that. Uh, so, you know, that's kind of percolating along. Okay. One of the little reasons yeah. for just kind of getting our little committee invigorated again is to right. just be able mm -hmm. to coordinate things like that. But it, it seems like it's all moving in a good direction. Good. Wonderful. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Donna, anything else you want to bring up? Um, not under... Before we get into uh, other business and updates? I'll think of something. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> okay. So, in terms of other business and updates on business, um, West Woodbury Cemetery, probably the best person to talk about this so far, but I know I have a deed in hand. You do? I do. Really? Didn't take long. What? The deed. The deed for the old one, you mean? Yeah, no. For the old one. I don't have a new one yet. I'm working on it. Cemetery. Deed for the cemetery. I thought Chris Green is working on that. No, he sent it to me. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. So, okay. Maybe Chris Green is working on it. I too. talked to him. Oh. <laughs> well, you didn't talk to me. So you just I'm sent sorry. Me, you just sent me something. Chris sent you? No, you sent me. I sent you. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> So I'm glad Chris Green's okay. working on it. That's well, funny. yeah, because we I'm not writing a deed, but uh, finally, all of the parties are in a, in agreement with the uh, revised plot plan that allows for 20 full size lots and 40 half size crematory lots. So the issue is what uh, that there will be a closing coming up hopefully within the next month or so. Although there's no rush, as long as it happens before spring. Um, Robin was working, when she was doing the warning, she was working from a, a one that I sent her from like three years ago before the COVID. And there was still a, an article in there about appointing uh, or electing a town uh, person to approve real estate, agent to approve real estate transactions. And I thought I remembered that that was no longer necessary because we didn't vote on it last year or the year before. So I checked with the LCT and they said yes. They, they sent me the copy of the, the uh, citation that this is not an elected position anyways. It's, a, someone that, it's something that has to be appointed by the select board. So um, uh, when, it, when the time comes, we'll need to... The select board will have to appoint someone to attend the closing, which will probably be in Hardwick, probably be in Chris's office, because Bear is in Hardwick. So, we can either appoint someone now or later. I'd rather wait until Michael is back until okay. we do that appointment. All right. Other business or other updates? Yes. Please, mm. Ms. Jerky. We have the abatement meeting set up for this Wednesday, January 25th, mm. 6 o'clock here in the community room. No. Have you got any responses? Like, do you know who's going to be So here? far, the only ones I know that are not going to be here are Patrick Flood. Mm -hmm. That's it. You might want to check around because... Yeah, know, I figured I'd send a reminder notice tomorrow. Okay, but you can ask them to please respond so we make sure that we have a uh, quorum. Yep. Okay. 
Otherwise, we'll just have to do it all over again, which is a pain. Did Ron give you a number yet? No. Okay. Well, he was working on one. Any other business that is not part of the published agenda? Hearing none, um, I'll make a motion to close the select board meeting for January 23rd, 2023 at 6.55. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank Alrighty. you. All.